Hello, beautiful souls of love. So we've completed another portion of A Course in Miracles. Can you believe that we're on review five already? That's pretty awesome. I find that when these review times come around, that it's a time to sit with everything that we have experienced and everything that has been undone and everything that has been brought to the awareness of our mind so that we truly do realize that what we want beyond anything else is to heal our minds and remember God. And so that gives us an opportunity to truly surrender, to truly let go, um, to truly call upon forgiveness and, and, you know, use forgiveness often in our life, in our mind, in our experience, so that we truly do embrace the peace and love of God and let ourselves be the shining light that this world needs so we may do our part in God's plan and be completely happy and completely whole and healed as God created us to be. So it feels really good to be where we are. So thank you everybody for joining in today, review five. So I'm gonna go through um, the directions that Jesus gives us here as to the review and then I'll make another video after for the actual lesson itself. So here we go, review five. We now review again. <laughs> This time we are ready to give more effort and more time to what we undertake. We recognize we are preparing for another phase of understanding and this is exactly what's happening. We keep moving into new phases of understanding. We would take this step completely that we may go on again more certain, more sincere, with faith upheld more surely. Our footsteps have not been unwavering, and doubts have made us walk uncertainly and slowly on the road this course sets forth. But now we hasten on, for we approach a greater certainty, a firmer purpose, and a sure goal. Steady our feet, our Father. Let our doubts be quiet and our holy minds be still and speak to us. We have no words to give to you. We would but listen to your word and make it ours. We have no words to give to you, but we listen to your word and make it ours. Crucial. Lead our practicing as does a father lead a little child along a way he does not understand. Yet does he follow, sure that he is safe, because his father leads the way for him. I'm even having the visual of when we're learning to ride a bike and our, our father is holding on to the back of our seat as we're riding that bike and we know we are okay, we know we're not gonna fall because he's holding on and he's protecting me and he's showing me the way. But then when he realizes that we have steadied ourselves, that we are confident enough, that we are sure in what we are, he lets us go. He lets us go and trust that we have our faith in him and thus we can have faith in ourselves. So do we bring our practicing to you. And if we stumble, you will raise us up. If we forget the way, we count upon your sure remembering. We wander off, but you will not forget to call us back. Quicken our footsteps now, that we may walk more certainly and quickly unto you. And we accept the word you offer us to unify our practicing as we review the thought that you have given us. This is the thought which should precede the thoughts that we review. Each one but clarifies some aspect of this thought or helps it be more meaningful, more personal and true, and more descriptive of the holy self we share and now prepare to know again. God is but love and therefore so am I. This is our thought. God is but love and therefore so am I. This self alone knows love. This self alone is perfectly consistent in its thoughts, 
knows its creator, understands itself, is perfect in its knowledge and its love, and never changes from its constant state of union with its father and itself. Yes. And it is this that waits to meet us at the journey's end. Every step we take brings us a little nearer. This review will shorten time immeasurably if we keep in mind that this remains our goal and as we practice it is this to which we are approaching. So we are approaching the love of God and the whole goal is to shorten our time between our current experience in our life to the unlimited, beautiful experience of the love of God. So this is what we are approaching. This is what we're doing. Let us raise our hearts from dust to life as we remember this is promised us and that this course was sent to open up the path of light to us and teach us, step by step, how to return to the eternal self we thought we lost. This is so beautiful. So this course is opening us up so that we can take it step by step so that we may return to the light, so that we may return to our eternal self that we thought that we lost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. <laughs> and then Jesus is saying, I take this journey with you. I take this journey with you. For I share your doubts and fears a little while that you may come to me who recognize the road by which all fears and doubts are overcome. We walk together. We walk together. I must understand uncertainty and pain, although I know they have no meaning. Yet a savior must remain with those he teaches, seeing what they see, but still retaining in his mind the way that led him out and now will lead you out with him. God's son is crucified until you walk along the road with me. Amen. Right? So Jesus is saying he came here to experience doubts and fears. He came here to experience uncertainty and pain along with us only so that he can overcome it. He has said many times, I have overcome the world and so must you do, or something like that. Don't quote me on that. But um, this is what Jesus came to teach, that you can overcome the world, that you can overcome these doubts and fears and uncertainties and pain. And so what he's saying is that a savior, which is our bro Jesus, remains with those that he teaches, meaning us continuing to see what we see but at the same time knowing how to lead us beyond what we currently see, which is the way out to him. And he's also saying that God's son, which is us, Jesus, yes, but also us in equality is crucified until we walk along the road with Jesus. So until we walk along the path towards the light, towards eternal life, we are still crucifying ourselves and thus we are still crucifying God's sons around the world. So this is a hefty part we are playing here in God's plan, but it is our only part here to play. So thank you for this remembrance. <sighs> My resurrection comes again each time I lead a brother safely to the place at which the journey ends and is forgot. Resurrection happens yet again in the mind of God's Son when Jesus can successfully lead a brother to the journey's end and then the journey is forgotten because we are awake, there's no more journey, you know, it's done. So this is the whole goal. I am renewed, he says, each time a brother learns there is a way from misery and pain. I am reborn. Each time a brother's mind turns to the light in him and looks for me. I have forgotten no one. Help me now to lead you back to where the journey was begun to make another choice with me. So I almost see it as like a loop, 
right? Like we're going on this journey, we're going on this journey, and then we meet Jesus and the light, and we go whoop, right back to the beginning, and then we make a new choice. Now we went right back to the beginning, awakened as the Son of God, and now we can continue to go through the journey, collecting all of our brother and sister souls with us, so that all of us reach the end of time, and then we all come back to heaven together successfully. So this is what is happening. Jesus hasn't left us. He's here every step of the way. Release me as you practice once again the thoughts I brought to you from him who sees your bitter need and knows the answer God has given him. Together, we review these thoughts. So we're reviewing these thoughts with Jesus. Together, we devote our time and effort to these thoughts. And together, we will teach them to our brothers. God would not have heaven incomplete. It waits for you as I do. It waits for you as I do. I am incomplete without your part in me. And as I am made whole, we go together to our ancient home, prepared for us before time was and kept unchanged by time, immaculate and safe, as it will be at last when time is done. Hmm. Let this review be then your gift to me. For this I lo alone I need. That you will hear my, the words I speak and give them to the world. That's all Jesus needs. That we hear the words that he speaks and give them to the world. Hmm. You are my voice, my eyes, my feet, my hands, through which I save the world. The self from which I call to you is but your own. To him we go together. Take your brother's hand, for this is not a way we walk alone. In him I walk with you and you with me. Our Father wills his Son be one with him. What lives but must not then be one with you. What lives but must not then be one with you. All of life is but one with us, and life is God. Hmm. Let this review become a time in which we share a new experience for you, yet one as old as time, and older still. Hallowed your name, your glory undefiled forever and your wholeness now complete as God established it. You are his son, completing his extension in your own. We practice but an ancient truth we knew before illusions seemed to change, chain the world. Oh, I made up a word there. Hmm. <laughs> we practice but an ancient truth we knew before illusion seemed to claim the world. And we remind the world that it is free of all illusions every time we say, God is but love, and therefore so am I. With this we start each day of our review. With this we start and end each period of practice time. And with this thought we sleep, to waken once again with these same words upon our lips to greet another day. No thought that we review, but we surround with it, and use the thoughts to hold it up before our minds and keep it clear in our remembrance throughout the day. And thus, when we have finished this review, we will have recognized the words we speak are true. 
We are recognizing that the words we speak are true by the end of this practice period because we are calling upon experience. In our final paragraph here, Yet are the words but aids and to be used, except at the beginning and the end of practice periods, but to recall the mind as needed to its purpose. So these, these thoughts that we are given are here to recall our purpose throughout the day, but then this is also specific application for morning and night. We place faith in the experience that comes from practice, not the means we use. We wait for the experience and recognize that it is only here conviction lies. We use the words and try and try again to go beyond them to their meaning, which is far beyond their sound. The meaning is far beyond their sound. The sound grows dim and disappears as we approach the source of meaning. It is here that we find rest. And so that's our review, beautiful souls. We're going to carry this for the next week or so, and I look forward to celebrating in it with you and experiencing the truth that God is love, and therefore so am I. And so it is, beautiful souls. I love you all. Mwah.